If I told you that just a couple of years ago, there would be a sprinter who would win the NCAA Finals in the 400 meters, win a World Championship medal in the exact same event, and then seemingly out of nowhere, this athlete would make the dramatic and bold move to drop down to the 100 meters, and somehow, against all logic and racing history, he would become the undisputed greatest 100 meter athlete in the world. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, even against the tremendous international talents, including Trayvon Bromel, Lamont Marcel Jacobs, Marvin Bracey, and Christian Coleman, this athlete has been nearly unbeatable for the previous two years. In fact, unbeknownst to many, this sprinter is currently undefeated so far in 2023, and despite what many people have predicted about him, he is looking dangerous, and he has also already made history this season. On June 9th of 2017, Fred Curley would win the men's 400 meter finals in the NCAA championships, running a time of 44.10 seconds, one of the fastest times in the world up to that point. This victory was once again made possible with his unmatched finishing strength, and he managed to defeat his opponents in this race by more than half of a second. 44.10 for Fred Curley. That's the fourth fastest in collegiate history. This was a big moment for the rising Texas A&M superstar. But then, just two years after this race, he would triumph on the world's biggest stage, winning the bronze medal in the 2019 World Championships in 44.17 seconds, only falling behind Anthony Zambrano from Colombia and Steven Gardner from the Bahamas. From 2017 through 2019, Curley was easily one of the greatest one-lap runners on the planet. And even though he hadn't run a single 100 meter race over the previous three seasons, he soon made the dramatic shift to this shorter sprint. And despite the skepticism and inevitable training move, he made the right decision. In fact, he made a very good decision because throughout 2021, he broke 10 seconds 11 separate times. He won the silver medal in the Olympic games in 9.84. And during the 2021 season, he became one of only three athletes to ever break 10 in the 100, 20 in the 200, and to hold a personal best of under 44 seconds in the 400 meters. To say that 2021 was a success would be putting it very mildly. With very good starting capabilities, but nearly unmatched top speeds, Curly really cemented his position as one of the big names to take down in pretty much any sprinting event. However, even though 2021 was a very good step forward, 2022 would be even more of a dominant year, as he only lost two races in the 100, he ran under 9.8 twice on the exact same day, and he won the World Championship Finals in 9.84 seconds. Curley's 100 meter abilities at this point were nearly unchallengeable, and it was always a sight to see him lift away from the field over the final 50. But, 2023 has again started red hot for Fred Curley, and he is currently doing things right now that honestly blow me away. So far this season, Curley has only raced seven times, once in the 400, twice in the 200, and four times over the 100 meters. On May 5th, he ran his season's best in the 200 at 19.92, and then on May 21st, he ran his season's best in the 100 meters at 9.88. However, if we go back to March 11th, Curley also dropped a 400 meter time of 44.65 seconds, which despite not training specifically for the one lap distance here, ranks him number 15 in the world this season. Remember just a minute earlier when we talked about the sub 10, sub 20, and sub 44 club? Well, Curley has already done this for two events this season, and even though he hasn't quite broken 44 this year in the four, this is already a ridiculous triple accomplishment, which very few athletes have ever been able to achieve throughout their career, and yet Curley has already done this in a single season. In just two weeks' time, the United States Championships are officially set to take place, and at the moment, Curley is actually not scheduled to run in the 100 meters, given that he has a bye to the World Championships from his gold medal last season. This means that Curley will be focusing all of his energy on the 200 meter distance, and given his personal record of 19.76, he will certainly be competing for a top three position. However, he will have very, very stiff competition, as Noah Lyles, Arion Knighton, Kenny Benarek, and also Courtney Lindsay from Texas Tech are looking to take the top three spots. 
Now, there is a ton of evidence that suggests that Curley will in fact make it to the World Championships in the 200 meters. And even though making the United States team in either the 100 or the 200 meters almost guarantees you a position in the finals, there is one specific workout that Curley did recently that really showcases his top tier fitness right now. On June 16th, Curly posted this video to Instagram. Now in this clip, Curly is running a 300 meter interval, and even though it doesn't appear as though he's running all out, he allegedly dropped a time right around 32 seconds flat. Now, throughout the history of the men's 300, we have only seen a total of 35 separate sprinters dip under the 32 second barrier, but according to his coach, that is exactly what he did in this workout. If you listen closely, you can actually hear the time being read out to Fred Curley right as he crossed the finish line. With this information, this was clearly right around 32 seconds. However, every single occasion that I timed this workout, I only clock Fred Curley around 32.5. Now, maybe I'm missing something here, but I don't think that I am. So I invite all of you guys to check out this workout and time it yourselves. Either way, this 300 meter clocking of this magnitude, whether it be 32 or 32.5, in practice is a very impressive clocking. And it does showcase the kind of deadly speed and strength combination that has made Fred Curley, Michael Norman, and also Wade Von Niekerk so successful. But despite the international accolades that he has found since 2019, Curley has a huge task ahead of him this year, and there are a few new names to the sprinting party that are looking to dethrone the 100 meter king. On June 24th, we saw Zarnell Hughes from Great Britain run the 100 meter race of his life, hitting a new world lead in 9.83, and he also took down the previous British national record that has stood since 1993. This finish now places Curley at number three in the world this season, now behind Zarnell Hughes and Ferdinand Amanyala from Kenya. The 100 meter distance is certainly an event where Fred Curley will be looking for a world medal this season. But the interesting thing about Curley moving into this year's US Nationals and the World Championships is that up to this point, he hasn't competed for an entire month, with his most recent race coming from the 100 meter victory in Florence, Italy. Now, this was another big time performance with Curly hitting amazing splits throughout this race. However, with workouts like this and his current intent to jump into the 200 meters, Curly is likely going for the 100 and 200 meter double in this year's World Championships, which will certainly be a massive task as Noah Lyles is looking almost unbeatable over the 200 meter distance right now. Now, taking a step back and looking at Fred Curley in the bigger picture, the scary thing about this athlete is that in pretty much every single sprinting event, he is a worldwide threat. In the 100, his time of 9.76 puts him top 10 all time. In the 200 meters, he has showcased some crazy potential, running a time of 19.76. And for his personal record in the 400, he has actually run a spectacularly fast time of 43.64, a savage performance that took the US crown back in 2019. These three times combined together and his continued global championship medals prove beyond any doubt that Curley is one of the greatest overall sprinters to ever hit the track. And now I'll pass this question off to you. What do you think Fred Curley is set to do in 2023? Will he win a global championship medal? Will he defend his 100 meter crown in Budapest? And what times do you think he'll run for the remainder of the year in the 100 and the 200 meters? Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, until next time. Thank <laughs> you.